sweet mother of Bacon! Oh shoot. Going in fast. Say the word. We should be close enough by now. Wait for it. Uh oh. Oh damn. <laughs> Aim is just a straight. I told you, Chris. Where's that stealth ship? It's supposed to be here. It's there. Heads up. We got a fall here it on the side of the ring. Uh oh. We're going after the ball and our shit. I'm on it. That's why you notice everybody on board is wearing their suits. They would love to report a battle start. They would love to. One hard maneuver and you're done. We don't get that thruster back at all, son. I'm going. Go ahead, Amos. Did you notice something there? You gave her a thing? Launching breaching pods now. He listened to Holden over her. Relax, it's FedEx. You have to be careful, eh? I told you. He's got to fix the gyros. I see the problem. But I need a few seconds to fix it. Rasenate, alert. Are you seeing this? Wow. Looks like an old asteroid cannon. Wow. We're breaking stray rocks. It can't hurt us. Don't be. You'll kill that. Yes, it can. Alex, can we take him out? No, we're too close for torpedoes. I'm gonna have to clear the stage to the fire the PDT. Do it! Roger! Wait a minute, did you guys forget that, uh, uh... Yeah, Amos, out there? But they have to, they have a job to do. That was what they were talking about. Hold on, Amos! Let it go, Alex. Nice work, Alex. Well done. Woo! Oh. 
Amos, why, uh, where are you? Oh, shit. Uh oh, here you go, Miller. <laughs> I love what George said. He's like, how do I know? What's the signal to go? She's like, that door will explode. That wall will become, explode and become a door. <laughs> Stay sharp. Everybody stay sharp and watch the doors and corners. Doors and corners where they get. Oh, them. okay. Before, hey, no one's going to school. Take him in that way. You down there. Alex, which pod was Miller on? I'm on it. Miller was on the other pod. Mm. Oh, one got destroyed. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Amos. Shoot, they probably were shooting at what is, what's on that um, ship. They were shooting at them. But like Miller pointed, Miller noticed they weren't armed for a real fight. They were armed with non-lethal weapons. They got that like, bacteria like on there. They got people in there infected. All right, everybody on the floor. Show me some hands! They controlling something. Now! Virtual Boy, see it now in 3D. Yeah, look at what they looking at. Go with you. No, he's really not like these guys. They don't know what they're doing. They're all just a bunch of trigger happy civilians who want revenge. Looking for him, he a police officer. Alright, turn it off, dirtbag. Now's the time for all good men to come to the aid of their species. Mm. You. Have we met? <laughs> You remember him, right? I do. The station is now under OPA control. What would it take to make you guys go away, Colonel Johnson? Weapons, <laughs> money, political favors. My benefactors are powerful. Get his ass out of here. Idiots. We you know what you were doing on Eros. Nobody knows what we're doing on Eros. And every minute I have to spend playing games with you takes me away from that work. He's gonna help us make a vaccine. No, that goes against everything we're trying to accomplish. You infected a station full of birds. They infected to save us all. What is it? We made a discovery on Phoebe. 
an organism that can repurpose other life forms and use them to evolve into what? That's what we're trying to find out. No, we don't want to find out. Isolated environment that can be sterilized if it gets out of hand. Ninja, oh my zombie, I'm just gonna nank. Could have fed it about a bacteria. <laughs> I'm not interested in the cosmic bait of bacteria. The proton molecule is proof that we're not alone in the universe. And are taken well, we out of the that. limitations that bind us to these pathetic little bubbles of rock and air. If we master it, wow. we can apply it. Apply it to what? To everything. We yeah. become our own gods. Imagine human beings able to live in hard vacuum without a suit or under the crushing atmosphere. Are you guys gas watching him? Able to hibernate long enough to travel to the stars. And that's why you were willing to start a war. Have you heard of Genghis Khan? He built one of the greatest <laughs> empires in human history. Killed or displaced a quarter of the entire population on Earth during his conquests. Today that's the equivalent of 10 him? billion people. Eros is hardly he a rounding error by comparison. And that justifies all this. Of course it does. The protomolecule wasn't sent here by accident. Earth was its target. Without this work, humanity will be left unarmed, ignorant, vulnerable to an enemy who has already fired the first shot. I don't care who controls the project, so long as I can get back to my work with no restrictions. Wow. So we have an understanding. <laughs> no, no, shit. We're gonna need complete access to the data, as well as the names of everyone responsible for setting this in motion. Done. Another shot, my toe. Come on. Now, did yeah, I see that coming that good, or what? That was a good prediction, Bob. I gotta admit. Did I see it coming or what? For Julie. 